ראש הממשלה נתניהו, סבא שלי נרצח על השלום, ואתה חייב לכולנו את השלום. In a rally marking the 18th anniversary of Rabin's assassination, Rabin's grandson, Yonatan Ben Arzi, called on Netanyahu to use the opportunity given to him with the current peace talks to end the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. בתמיכה ועידוד של העולם כולו. זה לא יהיה קל, ובטח זה לא יהיה פופולרי, אבל ההיסטוריה תוכיח כי מנהיגים נבחנים בשעות לא פופולריות. נדמה לי שזהו הזמן שלך. Tens of thousands gathered at Rabin Square in Tel Aviv on Saturday night for the event organized by Israel's youth movements. Many in the audience were not even born in the time of the murder. Democracy is not, is not, is not, is not uh, uh, only a way to make decisions, it's part of a way of life. And we've come here to, uh, to guard it. It's under a lot of uh, attacks. Uh, one of them was 18 years ago here. 18 years ago, a prime minister was murdered here, was killed for his uh, ideas and uh, policies that he, made, that he uh, tried to achieve. And uh, we think that in the last 18 years, there was too much uh, saying about uh, whether you agree with the Itzhak Rabin's uh, way or not. And we, we say you can be a religious person, you could be a right-wing person, and still say that democracy is above all. And that's what we're trying to do here. Rabin was shot by right-wing Israeli radical Igar Amir while taking part in a peace rally on November 4th, 1995.